Pastor. All righty. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hang on. Hang on. We're going to put you on. All righty. Welcome to the day of Time is time again. I'm Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a good looking Saturday morning. We call it a sanctified Saturday because we know who made the day and who made us, and we're looking for great things in the day. That's right. Everybody's happy. You can be me. Yes. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a little bit more time here. <laughs> but, but I know you got some news for us, Pastor, so I'm going to step out of the way and turn it over to you right now and let you do it. The way that you've been doing it for the past 28 years, I'm talking about bringing us that news we can use. So, Pastor, you just go ahead and take it away. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing that good news today. He saved the day. He did come through. That's what our Lord Jesus did. He saved us and he saved the day. That's what uh, D.B. is talking about in that song. And uh, it is so such a foundation for you and I, my, our relation and how we relate to our Father God on the basis of his son, Jesus Christ, and how he gave his life for us, friend. This is an eternal truth that reveals Father God's heart for us. You know what? When you and I continually consider and ponder the truth of this, that a holy and perfect and all-powerful God would choose to relate to those who he created on the basis of the gifting of his son to us. It just reveals something to us. It establishes an eternal truth in our hearts that uh, as we know and believe it will continue to grow and guide us and navigate us through the course of life such that as the apostle Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. Well, our faith and the Bible faith, the God kind of faith, is steeped in, built upon, birthed out of the truth of God. See, faith is not just blind optimism and being positive and hopeful. Although all those things are great, it's good to be positive, good to have a positive outlook, positive perspective, positive thoughts, positive words, live a positive life. All of those things are good uh, and, and helpful and beneficial to us, helpful to us in our physical body, our mental and emotional well-being, and also ultimately in our spiritual well-being. But when it comes to our spiritual well-being, it's called faith, faith in God, confident expectation of God's goodness and the fulfillment of the truth of his word. We shared yesterday how the psalmist says in Psalms 33 verse 4 that all of God's words are right and that all of his uh, works are done in truth and that it stands forever. Well, what, why is that important for you and I? It is because in every case, you know, when you're dealing with anything in life, if you can appeal your case on the basis of truth that you can present to the highest authority there is, you have a winnable case. So long as that authority is committed to the truth. Well, when you and I uh, uh, appeal our case, whatever our case and cause may be, whether it, may be, whether it be an opportunity, a dream, a hope, a vision that God has placed in your heart, uh, whether it be uh, a temptation, trial, test of your faith, may it be the health and wellness of your body, uh, whether it be the, the prospering and the uh, thriving of your business, your ministry, your marriage, your children, your family. When you appeal your case, whatever your case may be, to the highest authority there is based upon his truth and the truth of his word, 
You know what? That's what the Apostle John writes in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. He says this about prayer. He says, and this we know, if we ask anything according to God's will, then he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. That kind of knowing in prayer is something I believe that we all desire. All of us will pray and will pray uh, diligently and be diligent in prayer when we know these things to be true. Sometimes we relegate prayer to, I've done everything else I can do, now maybe I'll pray. And I think it is because at times we do not truly understand that when we talk to God upon the basis of his will, his word is his will, that we're bringing to him what he delights in. When it says that uh, all of his words are right and that uh, all of his works are done in truth, what it's saying is his word is solid to the core, that there is nothing uh, empty, there is nothing void, unproductive about the word of God. There's nothing just superficial, uh, hollow about the words of God. The word of God is sure. It is certain. And when you and I approach him on the basis of his word, what we're actually doing is we're saying we have confidence and trust in you that your words are right, that they're sure that you are trustworthy. Jesus said this himself about the word of God. He says that the very heavens and earth themselves would fold up and fade away before one dot of the eye or cross of the T of God's word would ever fall to the ground. Of course, the King James text is, is hilarious at times before one jot or tittle uh, of the word would ever fall to the ground. Over in Hebrews 1, the writer of the Hebrews uh, says to us by the Holy Spirit that uh, the very heavens and uh, earth themselves are held in store by the word of God, by the word of his power, because whatever God says is fully and completely embedded and uh, full of the latent power and potential to produce what he intends and to sustain it. Here's the way he says it through the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah 55. My word that goes out of my mouth shall not, shall not. Shall is a strong word. It's a contractual word that we use in the business of men to uh, make certain uh, of certain things that will be delivered contractually. When God uses the word shall, it's a whole nother level. It's an eternal decree. He says, my word that goes out of my mouth shall not return to me, Lord. It will prosper into the thing I sent it to do. It will accomplish that which I please. So what do you think happens when you and I embrace the word of God and we begin to bring his own word to him? You know what happens is he listens, he hears because he is irrevocably committed to his own word. You know, that's what integrity is. You know, we talk about integrity and we know the importance of integrity. I think all of us who strive to be, uh, uh, to, to, to live outstanding and excellent lives, we want to be integrous. And to have integrity, we seek to keep our word. Sometimes, you know, we have limitations. We mean well, and sometimes we, we're unable for whatever reason. It's not always because we don't have integrity, but things come up. Well, we can't keep our word, but we should have the same commitment uh, to our word as God does to his. In fact, I believe when Jesus is teaching in Matthew chapter five and says, be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. I believe that he's simply talking about us having the same commitment to God's word as he has to his word and then walking by his word. You know, that's what makes us solid to the core. Jesus said it this way in Matthew chapter 7. He said, whoever hears these teachings, these words of mine, and uh, does them as like a person who digs deep and builds their house on a foundation of a rock. Those who hear it and do not as those who build their house on sand. And when the storms and winds come, 
at the top of that house. But when it's dig deep and built on a rock, it will stand the test of time. I declare that as you stand in the truth, you stand also. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected.church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosive Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. Where Jesus is our joy, the dream of change is alive. To gather you and I the difference, it makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this sanctified Saturday, Pete. Well, I, uh, yeah, um, I, I, I know it was it was good news, and we appreciate it. I was just trying to think of how the topic when I come behind you uh, to, to, to say very farewell so long uh, uh, until tomorrow. But I, I found out what I could say. Yes, sir. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sir, and thank you for the great job you've been doing for almost 54 years now. Ah, uh, yeah, man. I tell you, February the 12th, 54 years. Oh, Awesome, man. awesome. Way to show us how to do it. And hey, Lord willing, uh, we're going to keep going like you. And hey, we look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. All right. Remember the word for the day. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a great one, Pastor. All right. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. All right. Yes, indeed. Hey, y'all, this is we're excited today as we're beginning to, we've been announcing the coming of Connect Center. And uh, you're gonna, we're going to be advertising an open house on the 19th. We're moving. We're beginning our move today, getting our things moved in. We have the movers coming and uh, we have uh, the preparation uh, ready, as my wife would say. We're preparing a place for you, not like what Jesus prepared, but we're trying to model it uh, uh, after the excellence of Jesus to receive you and to meet you, greet you, love on you, hear your story, share our story, teach you the word of God and serve our community together. Because as we say, it's not more than rhetoric. That, that uh, you and I are the difference that makes the difference. And when we come together, we become difference makers in this world. And we are looking for great things in the Tennessee Valley and beyond in our nation, this continent, and the whole world. All right, hey, remember this. God loves himself from you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. We're online tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Connected Church is online and we look forward to being connected with you and um, and being back with you on this daily connection tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Talk to you in real soon. Bye-bye.